My name is Tad Schultz. I'm from Piasta, Iowa. I grew up around trucks and I guess I've been trucking for 26 years. Good. Started as soon as I got out of the military in 93. Good. I haul heavy machinery and multiple, all kinds of building products and stuff like that. Anything on a step deck. I'm mostly oversized. Okay. I don't get into the heavy much. Okay. I run from eastern Iowa to South Florida typically most of the time. Okay. Do a little Texas and you know, kind of the southeast corridor, I guess. Good. This truck is brand new. <laughs> yes, sir. We just put it together three weeks before we came here. We started putting it together. It's a 2020, 2020 Peterbilt 389. Everything's pretty much the same. My last one was a 17, and it, okay. it's pretty much the same. I went with bigger horsepower this time, but it's a 565 X15 Cummins okay. with 2050 torque and 18 speed transmission. Okay, and uh, yeah, so you, you had a 2017 before this, so mm -hmm. you're trading, uh, trading pretty quickly, it sounds like. About well, three years. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been doing that a uh, long time? Just kind of getting myself into that cycle now. Okay. I've, been, I've been doing trailers every two years, okay. but now I'm gonna probably doing my trucks every three. It just seems like you can get a little better money out of them if, okay. you know, just... All the manufacturers also backed up. You know, you're eight months out waiting on a truck or better, and a lot of the trailer dealers are the same way. So if you got something that's fairly new and in good shape, it went pretty quick. My 17 I sold in two weeks. The last one I just put on on Facebook actually yeah. that I'm selling it, and in the same week I had one guy that was going to buy it backed out, and another guy called me the same day and it was gone. So quite a good looking truck too. Tell me uh, about the process of putting everything together and uh, what you've done, uh, what you did after you took delivery of it, I guess. Well, when we first got it, it had no sun visor on it. Okay. The only stripe that was on it was the black one. Okay. No deck plate, airlines, fenders, mud flaps, nothing. It was all naked, no exhaust. Okay. So we put dummy seven inch Lincoln chrome pipes on it and left the tailpipe here, you know, weed burner, deck plate and fenders, light bars. Okay. All that stuff came from um, Iowa Customs. Oh, wow. I, I helped for two weeks. We did it at HD Equipment in Grand Mound, Iowa, though. Are, are you, you leased anybody, or are you just running fully? My own authority. Okay. Yeah. How, long have you, how long have you had your authority? Since 2000. Okay. And uh, working with any brokers, or are you doing it I work with right? Valley Transportation quite a bit okay. out of Grand Meadow, Minnesota. Okay. Kind of like Primarily, a, yeah. Kind of yeah. go-to. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah they're not ninety percent of it is what I I do with them. They treat me really well up there. Cool. This is the first time I've showed a truck since oh seven. Oh really? Okay. When I had my I had a Kenworth back then, and I showed it. Not here. I was at Walcott with it. Okay. I got on the cover of Large Car Magazine. We really didn't do anything except we put shift knob and brake knobs in from twisted shifters. Okay. And all the we bought a Rockwood chrome dash kit, chromed out the dash okay. with Rockwood. Other than that, no, we haven't done anything inside really. Okay. I got a steering wheel from SLC, I guess. Okay. Put an aftermarket steering wheel in it. Okay. And the sun visor and that came from ROK Services. Uh, we had a vinyl guy. <clears throat> These we vinyl the black stripe was factory, and we vinyled the the other two colors on it okay. at home there. Cool. We basically got done putting it together and came right here. Right. Yeah, how many miles did you say it was on it? 596. 596 miles. <laughs> yep. That's wild. And probably most of that was getting here, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All, all but 27 of it. 